Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. Really exciting video. This one's gonna be a little bit different than some of the other videos. Normally I have things planned out. This one is more like a freestyle video. I'm shipping out a snake today, so I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm shipping out. And I got a lot of things going on in the room. Some snakes are hatching, some eggs are pipping, not fully hatching yet. But I got some things to show you guys, so I'm gonna grab a nice coffee. We're inside. It's really hot outside, so we're gonna stay in here for a little bit, drink some coffee, and then I'll go outside, show you some snakes. Let me go grab that coffee, and I'll be right back. I feel so good right now. I just got home from work a little while ago, took a nice shower, put up a nice cup of coffee. I knew I was gonna do a nice video because I'm shipping out a snake. When I'm at work, I'm not even thinking about work. I'm thinking about here when I'm home with the snakes in the snake room, just relaxing. The smell of coffee in the air, the smell of snakes in the room. You know that smell if you have a lot of snakes. Now, I'm never worrying about work. I'm just relaxing all the time. Now, I wanna make a toast to all you beautiful people you're so beautiful for watching my videos. Even if you don't watch my videos, you're still beautiful. And you know what? We're gonna have a good time today. I got some stuff to show you besides shipping out these snakes. But first, I just wanna make a toast to all you guys. <sighs> all right, so I'm about to set up the camera outside so I could show you this beautiful snake that I'm shipping out in the nice South Florida sun, but I'm in here now because it's cool. I want to finish this coffee. I'll put a little bit of cream in it and some special brown sugar from the islands. I'm starting to feel that caffeine in my system, so I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves drinking something. And if you're drinking coffee, you could put whatever you like in your coffee. I won't judge you. All right, guys, this is the snake that's gonna be heading out. Look how beautiful this snake is, or I should say handsome, it's a male. And the pattern on this guy is everywhere. Something that stood out to me about this one, straight out of the egg was just that pattern, just beautiful. It's like a work of art, and this is a male from Xena and edges clutch, so this one is het albino. And there's something nice on this one. Right above his head is a circle. It's like a white circle. Now this guy's going to sunny California. From Florida to California, across the coast. So wish him he has a safe travel. I made a toast for him off camera. When I had some coffee, I finished that coffee. It's so delicious. Now this guy is just so tame. California king snake. California king snake, I could put my finger there. This guy's like a corn snake almost. Super, super calm. This whole clutch is super, super calm. There's one or two when you go to feed them, they rattle their tail like a rattlesnake. But other than that, they're calm. This is not one of them. And he is just so calm. I have, I believe, two left from this clutch on Morph Market. The rest sold. And you know what? I'm just happy he's going to California to a great, great guy. I was born in California, but I moved to New York when I was really, really young. So I'm pretty much from New York, but I was born in California. So I love when snakes go back to my hometown, such as New York or California. Now there's a final look at him. Now FedEx cutoff time is in about 30 minutes, so we're gonna box him up, go to FedEx, 
and then we're gonna come back and I got some more stuff to show you guys so let's go Guys, we got the box all made up. Make sure you put live harmless reptiles on multiple sides. Plus, put the scientific name and the common name for whatever you're gonna send, plus how many of each snake you're sending. In this case, only one. Everything's all set up. Now all we have to do is poke two holes in the box for some airflow. This is my favorite part. I just take a screwdriver and go right through. You wanna go through all the way through the box and the styrofoam so the snake can get some ventilation. So all I do, just like this, boom. The screwdriver went right through all the way. And one more on the other side, boom. Oh yeah. So now you have two nice size holes on each side of the box. Now you don't want too many holes. Some people get crazy with it. You know, the outside temperature is kind of hot outside. The more holes you poke, this box is gonna get hot quicker. Same thing if it's really cold out. The more holes you poke, the more that cold air is gonna get in. You just want enough so a little airflow comes in so the snake could breathe, but not letting that outside temperature in. So I got the snake in there really nice and tight. It's not gonna shake or go anywhere. I got it surrounded by that newspaper. I put a cryo pack in the refrigerator overnight. It's nice and hard, but these don't get very cold like ice. So if you put it next to the snake, it's not gonna freeze the snake, but it'll keep it nice and cool. And these maintain a temperature of 72 degrees in the box. They are lifesavers for shipping in hot weather. It's going to be a nice, cool, relaxing ride to California. So now we have a nice ice pack wrapped in a Ziploc bag and newspaper. Put that right on top like that. Keep it nice and cool in that box. All right, guys, the snake's in the box. Say your final goodbyes that he makes it to California safely. Now, I'm in a rush because FedEx is closing soon. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back from FedEx. That snake is on his way to California. Now, I've got something really special I want to show you. I just noticed it when I came home from work today. One of my most anticipated pairings, right here I have some eggs, and they're just starting to pip out. These are from Pumpkin, my reverse Okatee, and Riddler, my regular Extreme Abbott's Okatee. I tried to pair them last year with no luck, and I tried again this year about four or five times and they didn't seem interested again. So I was pretty much giving up, but I put them together a couple more times and then just magic happened. They paired up, they locked. She swole up and had these beautiful eggs. So now they're hatching. These should all be visual, extreme Abbott's Okatees, het for Amel. Let me give you a little peek at what's going on. Take a look at this. The first baby out of the eggs. We still have a lot of eggs here that started to pip out since yesterday. But this is the first one out from Pumpkin's Clutch. Pumpkin and Riddler. And it looks really, really beautiful. All right, so now we have 
pearl and cactuses. Beautiful clutch of eggs over here. Pearl, my beautiful snow. Coral snow motley to be exact. And cactus, that beautiful, beautiful salmon snow. The halo look, the nice green around those saddles. Both from South Mountain Reptiles, Don Sutterberg. Amazing stock. And now I want to show you the difference between California king snake eggs and corn snake eggs. Let me go grab those beauties. Now take a look at these beautiful eggs from Apollo and Xena. Two beautiful California king snakes. Now take a look at how big these eggs are. Now these. So they're up close and personal with it. Look at the difference in the size. Now usually I feed all of my hatchlings day old pinky mice but you could get away with these California king snakes. They come out nice and robust and I don't incubate my eggs. We have an ambient temperature of 78 to 80 degrees in this closet right here. So they take longer to hatch but they're bigger. And these could probably eat regular pinky mice right out of the egg. They come out nice and robust. All right guys, so yesterday I shipped out that beautiful California king snake to California and I want to give you guys an update. He made it safely. They love the snake and the gentleman's son named him Vegas because they took a trip to Vegas and his son loves Vegas so much so they named it Vegas. I wanted to just tell you that. Amazingly, Pearl and Cactus's eggs are starting to pip. Look at those little heads. Now let me give you a close-up look at Pumpkin's first hatchling. So this is my first time handling this little baby. Let me zoom in for you. All right, guys, this is my first time handling this little baby. And just look how amazing this one is. And so many saddles, so uniform, just amazing. The first one out, and, and this one probably just hatched out. It's still a little slimy and wet. You know, I really don't want to mess with this snake too much. He, he or she just came out of the egg. Pumpkin and Riddler, oh, I can't wait to see how these develop. I can compare them side by side to Paprika and Riddler's babies. And these are het amel. I'm gonna put this little guy back in with the egg so he could just relax. Now Pearl and Cactus's eggs, pip, starting to pip. You can see a couple of heads coming out. So in my next video, I'll be showing you as these all hatch out. I'm gonna record it all for you guys. Let me put this little one back. So I had fun doing this video, just freestyling. Now I have a lot of work cut out for me. I got my paper towel. If you guys have any questions about the babies or anything, feel free to leave a comment. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day, try and edit this video and get it up. I got some other things I'm gonna be doing, cooking a little bit in the kitchen and such. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.